Adjacent to the Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul in Philadelphia, Pope Francis's first stop on his visit here, a more ethereal cathedral. It's called the Knotted Grotto. On each one of the ribbons tied here, probably more than 100,000 of them, the artists behind the installation have lost count, are written individuals' private worries, struggles, sorrows, hopes, and prayers. Every single person has their own personal struggle. It's been amazing working on it. Over the last three months, most of Henry Crane's time has been spent doing this, cutting the ribbons so they could be sent off around the world. The directions, it should be good. Right on it, a personal tension or struggle. It's gone to like schools and like homeless shelters and retirement homes. And when they're returned, tying them one by one to the grotto. What's it like to handle thousands of people's most private struggles? You realize like there's so many people with like drug addictions and so many people with like anxiety and depression and mental illness that it's not like it doesn't become a big deal. You hear about so much when you're reading it. One struggle Henry remembers most. I think it's because it was one of the first ones I saw. It just said pornography addiction and it was kind of poorly written. And I, I instantly started thinking like, I wonder like who wrote this, because this is such a personal thing. And the other ones which will stick out to me will just be someone's first name. It'll be like Andrew or like Alex or something like that. And um, there's, no, there's no context for it. There's no last name. It's just that's the person they pray for and that's the person they hope the best for. Henry is 19 years old. He recently graduated from high school and is still deciding what to do next. He knows he wants to be an artist. In recent weeks, most of his time is spent outside the studio, on site at the installation, yeah. handing out the ribbons, and explaining to grotto visitors how this project works. Those who come to the grotto in person, or more likely just happen upon it when they come to see the cathedral, are encouraged to write down their own burden or prayer on a ribbon, and then untie someone else's ribbon recognizing symbolically for a moment the burden of another person, and then retie it to the structure. The act of tying and untying knots. A symbol of struggle throughout all times and cultures. Inspired by a painting said to be a favorite of Pope Francis, Mary Undoer of Knots. Mary originally undid the knot of a family and a marriage that was struggling. Henry's lesson in struggles includes an encounter with a homeless man. He showed me his mouth, and I had like never seen someone's like teeth like that destroyed. There was like holes in it and stuff like that. He gives the man a ribbon on which to write his struggle. It was like, someone please save me, and that one really sucked me. You're not religious yourself. Mm -hmm. Were you raised in a religion? It's weird. I none of my family members have ever really been religious. But I did have like a phase for a little. I was just interested in like Christianity. But like it's weird because like I didn't have anyone, like no one influenced me to do that. I think it just like, I thought it was cool. He thinks it's cool to consider Pope Francis's reaction. I'll feel happy just that he saw that, but I think a lot of people also be happy that just he engaged with their struggle. coming by and we so wanted him to bless these hundred thousand struggles because then people see them being blessed and we saw that he blessed it from the Pope Mobile and that was wonderful and then the Pope Mobile stopped. This was not on, as part of his itinerary so to add this to his itinerary I know was you know a huge favor. Pope came to the Nautic Grotto and he blessed over a hundred thousand struggles and knots and prayers of so many people from all walks of life. Sister Mary, where is Sister Mary? First he said a private prayer over everyone's knots. And then he said, pray for me. And of course I said, <laughs> pray for us. Um, and we're just so grateful for you to come here. You know, so grateful for you to, to bless everyone's knots. So grateful, so grateful.